In today's video, we're actually going to draw a scratch game. Everything in this project, from costume to code, must be written with a pen. The only problem is there's no actual way to manually write block coding. One quick trip to Amazon and a couple days later, we now have a digital drawing pad and an X pen, and they both kind of work with how a finger would to a touch pad. Drawing pads are typically used to create art and animations, but I purchased one specifically for coding a scratch game. We're going to see if it's actually possible to code using a writing utensil. However, there is a slight problem. The costume editor works just fine and I can click on practically all of the buttons, but for some reason, the block drag and drop doesn't work. And this basically means that there's no way for me to access any of the code on the side panel. There is a workaround though. This button on the pen allows for right clicking and if I drag out every single block in the editor using my regular mouse, I can then right click and then duplicate these blocks into scripts. With that out of the way, we can finally begin. We actually haven't made like a dash game on the channel yet, so um, maybe we'll make something like Geometry Dash, uh, wait, no, not, not like Geometry Dash. Uh, probably something like the Google Dino game would be good enough, um, I don't want it to be too complicated. Bro, what am I drawing? So I drew a marshmallow and he's looking pretty chill and he's going to be a main character for now um, but we do need to design some jumping movement so let's go do that. Oh my god dude this is going to take so much longer than I expected. Bro it's been like 5 minutes or something, my hands are already sweating and I have 4 blocks. Four blocks, two of which aren't even connected. <sighs> the the jump the jumping the the jump the jumping works. Uh, yeah, you you don't want to know how long that took. Um, anyways, uh, we need to design some obstacles. So, um, I'm drawing a spike right now, sort of like your average platformer generic in marshmallow land uh i'm not really gonna go into the little bugs and stuff mainly because there were a bunch and it's not really worth going over each and every one of them but uh yeah okay so we've got a good portion of the mechanics set up um you just kind of jump over the spikes and i literally just code the lives and the hearts at the bottom so that's looking good after quickly drawing a dyed screen the game is basically complete and um i'm not really showing it but I have three hours of raw coding footage of me just making this game. What if I just used a mouse, it would have taken 10 minutes. Um, which is why I didn't really want to add too many things to it, or else it would have just taken so long. This game was kind of just a test just to see if it was even possible to make a game using a pen and drawing pad. Um, unless this video gets like 10,000 likes or something, I am not doing this again. So yeah, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bro, bro, bro.